no idea why I use that music. Uh, it's gone now. And I promise you, I'm not putting it up again on this vlog. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> this is a fun one, guys. Come with me. Come with me to Norfolk. I was super excited because it occurred to me I couldn't actually remember the last time I'd been to the beach. This kind of beach is exactly what I remembered from being a child and Norfolk is full of them. Not only is Norfolk full of beaches but they're all different. They're all completely different types of beaches. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. I think we went to five while we were there and they're all different and I had the most glorious time. Before going to Hunstanton Beach, I wasn't aware that it's one of the few British beaches where the sun sets over the ocean. It was unbelievably beautiful. The pictures I took really don't give credit to it. It's just amazing. And having this sight every single night was a bonus I just didn't expect that I would have. Just look at it. Look at it. Apparently it's well known, but it wasn't well known to me. And I'm so grateful for having the opportunity to see it night after night for the time I spent there. It was magical. This is a so now we've got 15 miles an hour for a duration of 10 miles. 
We really did have the best time at this park. It was a, a farm park, I think it was called. And it was absolutely wonderful. I don't think I'm ever going to forget feeding those deer. And just seeing all these animals that were obviously so well looked after. There were very many that were pregnant, as you can see. And it was... A wonderful experience. While I was growing up, I used to holiday in this part of the world. And going back there with my daughter and her husband and the kids, 
was such a lovely reminder and I wasn't really expecting that. I mean, normally in England, I tend to go down to the south. This time we went um, to the east coast, which has normally got a bit of a reputation for being a bit cooler than the south. But seeing these beaches again was just so nostalgic for me. It was, it was really lovely. And as I said earlier on in the blog, we went to five different beaches and each one was just delightful. There was many people around, but everybody just did their own thing, did what they do on holiday, which is to live in the moment and enjoy every second on the beach. I've missed it. I didn't realise how much I missed it, but I did miss it. Don't take my word for it, but I think this is Heacham Beach. Another gem. It's really funny because the, the landscape in Norfolk is very, very flat. And it just seemed really, really peculiar to me that you'd be in this tiny village and then drive to the end of the road and there'd be this amazing beach. And we were quite lucky in that most of the time we managed to catch it when the tide was out. Um, so, which is what I quite like it when the tide's out because then you get to walk across the sand and uh, all the little rock pools and uh, and everything. And uh, I didn't go into the sea, although <laughs> my son-in-law and my grandson, and I think my granddaughter, did partake. We just, this is about as deep as I got. <laughs> One day, we went on a seal tour. My daughter had already been here before, so she'd organised everything. She's very good at organising. And she organised us, or organised for us, to go in search of seals, which apparently isn't very difficult because they're always in the same place. Um, but there are many tour companies that operate in this area. And again, it was such a memorable time. It's like, yeah, we crammed in so much in very few days. And I'm so glad we did. I love boats. I'm not sure if I could go very far on one, but I do love them. I think they're... Very, very pretty. Beautiful, even. Something very calming about boats, I think. Unless you're going over a choppy sea, then I, I, I suppose it's color, not very not calming. Right? So here are the seals. Amazing, guys. I don't do a lot. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> they just sat there watching us, really, or not giving a care in the world. <laughs> just lying there. They're quite comical looking. So clumsy on land and yet so graceful in the water. So fascinating to me. Very fast in the water, very agile. You're looking about 25, 30 miles an hour top speed underwater. 
They can stay on the for over half an hour if they want to. Some of the larger grey seals have been recorded 45 minutes underwater. They have to surface, they're mammals like us, they have to breathe. Just see a few on the left there, just see the dark shadows, might be a few bob up at the moment. There's some, look. Keep looking. There is Several there just near the shoreline underwater. There they are. Just see a few on the left there, just see the dark shadows, might be a few bob up at the moment. I think what I really enjoyed was that we could see them in their natural habitat. They chose to be here. Nobody has sort of, you know, carted them off in the back of a lorry and left them somewhere or caged them somewhere. They choose to be here. They very graceful in the water, but very slow and clumsy on land. They always stay close to the water's edge, never far away from the sea. So it's just lovely to see them wallowing about on the sand, living their best lives. Very few die of stress. They live in fact about 30, 35 years. Look at that one, wobbling along. One male to five or six females. Gentle giants, I think. Such strange creatures, aren't they? Now, this beach has been voted one of the top beaches in England and I can see why. I tell you, from the moment I saw this beach, I was like blown away because it has the real wow factor and I don't know whether it's because of the, the huge expanse of sand or these stunningly beautiful beach houses or beach huts. I don't know what it was but there's something very magical about this beach. It's, I can't think of a, of the right word to use. It's just absolutely glorious. It's a, Wells is actually a fishing port. And it's obviously had a lot of thought put into its design. Um, very successfully, I would say, because it's just glorious we got there a little bit late to fully um appreciate everything on offer and here we have another wonderful sunset let's go to the aquarium shall we
Enough. <laughs> I'm over here if you want me.
That's the end of my vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it. It really was a super time for us. Anyway, 
It would be, I want to say, before I go off, I want to say a huge thank you to you for watching this video and especially if you've got to this part of the video. This is the advertisement part of the video where I am showing you some of my merch, if you want to call it, artwork in my store. If you have a look under the video, you'll see that I have a store there now. So I've got hundreds of designs. So if you fancy having a gander, do that. In the meantime, you take care of yourselves. It's a rotten old world and we need to look out for ourselves and each other. So God bless you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.